Right, a bit more video. A few people about. I'm just going to video a bit of this. This is spring. I've been coming here all year round, by the way, over the last couple of years. I've intensified my visits. <sighs> Trying to get in one as often as I can. Sometimes I've come back twice in the same week. I mean, I'm not local. There's a sheep there. Trees are lovely there. They look so dead in the winter, right? They're still beautiful. The trees I'm talking about. And then they get this little green stuff up here, leaves. And it just brightens them up. Yeah, the sheep are absolutely lovely, don't they? In the green. The elderberries. And of course soon there he is. He's watching me there. That's a lamb. Not far from his mum. He's watching me. If we go over to a, tr a trunk over here of a tree, we can see some lovely fungi growing on it. Fungi appears autumn and spring. It seems to have ways of flourishing. Yeah, let me just zoom in a bit on it. So that it's, it's really feeding off that old branch now. It's beautiful, isn't it? Nothing's wasted, see? Nothing's wasted. And there we've got a sheep. He's looking at me because he's worried. He's noticed his mummy is not far away. He doesn't know who I am. It's just him and that sheep. Him and his mummy. Yeah, it's definitely looking greener, isn't it, now as we come further up the, the glen. It's, it's looking beautiful. It looks beautiful in the winter, by the way. And in the autumn with the golds, browns and yellows. This is, this is spring. And it's springing to life. It's absolutely gorgeous. You know? This is absolutely gorgeous. The babbling brook. Now we have the crossing point, which I talk about so much. My sister's been passed away over a year now, a year and a year and about two months. And like I always say, I can imagine her on the bank there. Saying, which way are you going then, Sheena? Get a move on. <laughs> I can imagine her saying that to me, you know. Where are you going to cross, she's saying, without getting your feet wet then? Uh, oh, I can go there. I can go there. Uh, and she's like, oh, there. <clears throat> Come on then. Take it steady. Tiptoe. There's enough stones to stop you getting really wet feet, but they are slippery. Ah. Thanks, Jude. I think I imagine her sat here because I love this place, this particular place. I love it here. Out of everywhere, I love this spot. It's beautiful here. It's absolutely beautiful. I know she's not been scattered here though. I know that. I don't know where she is, but she'll make her way here, believe me. She'll make her way here on her tour of her beautiful contacts. She will love this. Now, there's a walk up through there that takes you up. Oh, God, I keep 
Somerton Coombe. That's Somerton Coombe, right? I've done that a few times now. This is all Hodder's Coombe along here. And at the next fork, we'll divide. You can either carry on up Hodder's Coombe towards Shepherd's Coombe, Lady's Edge, or you can branch off to Slaughterhouse Coombe. Or you can go straight up the hill. You can go up the hill if you want and get up on the top and then walk down to Slaughterhouse Coombe without having to cross many streams. I come down it a few times that way. Yes, it's, it's just so beautiful. And this is spring, everyone. This is total beauty. Total beauty, I call this. Transformed. They're all coming to life. Thank goodness. I mean, it's tidied up a lot. It doesn't look quite as graveyardy, but that's only because people come out on quad bikes now. So you move the logs out the way. See how there's a pathway going through. Also the bikers, of course. Oh, I just love it here. I just love it here. This is peace. This is spot here. It's lovely. Right, I'm just going to turn off a minute and take some photos. I've come back on again quite quickly. There's a hill you can go up. This is where Hodder's Coombe sort of comes here and then you can branch off. If you want to go to Bicknoller Post quicker, go up there towards Shepherd's Coombe, cross the stream there. But if you go this way, this is what I always used to refer to as Holford Glen. And I, I didn't know for years later, because I didn't study the maps or anything. It's Slaughterhouse Coombe I'm going up. Now that is quite creepy, isn't it? A name like that. And that's what I'm going up today. Nice gentle plod up the Coombe. Surrounded by all these elderberry plants. Yeah, there are other people about. Just seen two women coming along. There's an old gentleman back there. And there was a younger bloke going by a minute ago. Oh, it's so green. It's that sort of lush, fresh, green feeling that you get. Beautiful, isn't it? That just reminds me of one big ant hill, as I've mentioned before. Ant hills. They used to be quite pronounced, the ant hills. Um, I suppose they're still here. <sighs> yeah, there'll be a few streams to cross in a minute. Be walking all the way up here. It's a quieter coom. It might not be so quiet now, but it always used to be a quiet coom. And because uh, that that one there is more main going up Shepherd's Coom because it takes you to Bicknoller Post and a junction point. Um, if you want to go to Bicknoller or you want to go towards the West Quantock Head or. You know, it takes you on the main tracks quicker. There's also a hill up there you can do. That hill will take you up as well. First, no, second stream to cross now. I don't know how big this one is, but it looks like you could just leap across here. You can still get your feet wet, even if it's not very big. Yeah, we can, we'll manage. We'll manage. Foot there. That's it. Stream. Looking back. So 
thing is you can with it being so green I'll stick out like a sore thumb if you like red I've got red top on but you can see people if they're wearing white blue if they're wearing browns and greeny colors no khaki looking camouflagey they blend in more depends if you want to be seen Yeah, so here we go then. The 30th of April 2019. And, um... Yeah, thoughts, of course, with the rising temperatures, global ones, um... The ice is melting. The permafrost is, will melt. And flooding. And of course, that changes everything apparently when you get all these drastic changes. It uh, stirs up more rain, more floods, more storms. It's a, you know, it's a bit of a catch-22 thing really, isn't it? So here we have it, folks. I've videoed this before. We always called it Holford Glen up here, all of it. We always used to say we're going to Holford Glen. We never called it any particular coombe when we were nine years old. We're just going to Holford Glen. That's what we called it. And it still seems appropriate to me now because it sounds prettier than Slaughterhouse Coombe. Sounds a bit sinister, but I can see why they might call it that because this could be like a cul de sac up here. I've seen a deer, dead deer ripped to pieces up here once, it hadn't been taken away or anything. It was further up, it was a while back, several years ago. Of course, you do get men in their hides out here as well early morning, in the evening I think mainly, to try and catch the deer or other animals. I'm videoing it a little bit more because basically when I haven't got my Alberta, which is my camper van, which will happen, and when I, and when I get more frail, I'll be able to watch my videos, that's what I think, and I'm digitalising it all. I'm putting it on external memories and everything. And sharing it with others, so there's a way of getting it back. It just depends if something like YouTube go bust, they disappear, um, and all the stuff goes with them. That's always a risk with technology, isn't it? Especially with the global warming. And um, soda flares and stuff can disturb the technology. Another pretty little stream. Right, I'm going to turn off for now. I'll join all these little videos up together.